Gritty Survival is one of the more complex and less played D&D styles and also such a rewarding experience when you overcome an obstacle. This D&D campaign spanned only 6 sessions where a group of all level 3 ranges, yes all ranges, were tasked to cross the Arctic to deliver a medicine to a village 6 days out by dog sledding. Or should I say, uh, Winter Wolf sledding? Riding? Uh, all of us each had a sled with supplies dragged by a strong and specifically bred Winter Wolf, which were perfectly at home in the cold environment. They were very good boys compared to their wild counterparts, and they would have been even better if the DM had not taken their ice breath for balance purposes. Now we couldn't make any this is how it feels like to chew five gum jokes. Because I know you all wouldn't stop if he started. Now the gritty survival part came into effect by limiting the healing that the body could take each day and having more food be needed depending on how much traveling and actions we took. And yes, Goodberry was nerfed for everyone about to try and erm um, actually me. Along with monster ambushes and uh, environmental dangers, all with us having a limited time. Now each session covered a day of travel with us starting from the morning of the first day sledding towards the first village. That would count as our checkpoint for the day of travel. The day was bright and clear, the perfect weather for the start of an adventure. Speeding through the day, we ended up making it to town hours ahead of schedule. We knew we'd be able to rest at a town for the night to get rid of our exhaustion, so we had decided to sprint to the next town, as well as the contributing fact that monster encounters were low due to the trail being semi-used due to the still relative closeness to civilization. As we arrived at the town, we saw a group of men in furs also arriving dragging the corpses of a few wolves and a few of their dead men from what seemed like a hunt. As we continued on, we asked if they had a problem with wolves around these parts and we were informed that every once in a while one might cause trouble but recently a pack had been attacking the town, eating animals and a few people so they had tracked down their nest and had gone to exterminate it, but unfortunately had some casualties. While well, half the group was asking questions, one of our members caught a glimpse of something that the hunters had. Foreshadowing. Deciding we should all head to bed early, to rise up early, only in D&D, we used up the last of our money to rent a room and had a hearty feast, because what else are you going to use coins for in the arctic? So far things were going smoothly, hopefully a good omen for the rest of the adventure. <laughs> uh... Waking up at the crack of dawn for our second day of travel, we found that it had started snowing and that it was steadily getting worse. Quickly getting geared up and eating a simple breakfast, we decided to start our mounts till we realized something, uh, one of our members was gone. Only for a second later to see them run around the corner holding the wolf pup they had seen earlier with blood splattered on their cloak. Ah fuck. 